Hey guys, we are live on YouTube. How are you doing? Brad called me up and uh, he said, Frank, can we go live to show um, me unboxing my uh, RC car? So I said, sure. It's the Fighter Buggy RX Memorial Edition. He just received it from Canada. Uh, it was shipped from Quebec. Uh, you still there, Brad? Or you're yes. frozen? Okay, because your hand wasn't moving, so you scared no, me. No, I, 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 I'm... I'm about to open the box. Just tell yeah. me when you're finished so, talking, Frank. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll showcase you. Uh, so we don't know what's in the box. So hopefully he did get the right thing. So let me present Spotlight. You go right ahead. Open up that box. My God, that's how you open a box, you? Not usually, but since I'm in an awkward position. We are opening up the box. There's a cardboard box on top of a cardboard box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are opening up a cardboard box so we can actually open up the cardboard box. It was One thing. Oh, you're lucky. You, it looks like you got the right thing. Oh, I just, I just, uh, just hit the cellophane with it so I didn't hurt the box. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The cellophane that wraps around it? Yep. But the box is fine. <laughs> hey, you'd be surprised. A lot of people collect these boxes. Yes, and this is actually, some people really love this box. Mm -hmm. Cool. Take it out. Looks like a small box. See, I didn't hurt the box. Oh, I hurt it a little bit, but not by not a lot. But it really was the cellophane that took the damage. Cool. So a lot of people like this box. I've been told the people I've watched people who have this kit, and they say they thought they did a great job for the box. <laughs> I mean, it is very different from what they what they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. I never owned a DT-01. It looks like it's a DT-01 chassis. Yes, but it's still considered uh, uh, the advanced hoppers. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know anything about DT-01. So it's going to be... It's still, it's still a rigid axle in the back. Yeah. Just like a hopper, but the gearbox and the diff are different. Okay. But it's still live axle. This one has a longer wheelbase, I think, than the Hornet, than the other ones. It, it looks like it's stretched. Yeah, well, it's got a longer wheelbase. And they also have one that's in a shorter wheelbase, like the Rising Fighter. That was a DT-01, too, which I could have gotten, too. Uh, if I had more money, I would have bought it, too. They had a shorter yeah. wheelbase than this one. It only came with friction nippers. This one originally came out in the 90s, and it was a white, red, white, and blue uh, decaling with yellow rims. This okay. is much prettier than that. Okay. Same we car, have, uh... same body. We have Bucks RC World, Bob's RC, and Radioactive Scale RC that's watching us. Cool. And uh, if they still, if they came out one with the white body, I'd get that one to complement this one. But that one came with friction dampers. This one got some little more advancements because it got the, the, the gray shock bodies with for oil filled dampers. So hey, 2050 Hobby Shop, how are you doing? Okay, open up that friggin' box there. Take that cellophane <laughs> there and let's go. <laughs> Whoa, there goes everything. Ooh, gold. These are beautiful rims. This is what, what makes this car so much nicer than the original one. Okay. Now you need, you're going to need to put it on the ground or put it somewhere and take off one thing at a time and show us and show us the body. Bag of parts, bag of uh, electronics, other parts, ah, and the motor. The so yep. you you're not going to use that motor. You're going to use your own. Nope. Yep. This is just a regular. Is this is what's going or? in this. Oh. <laughs> Twenty six thousand five hundred RPM. Oh, go. I thought I thought this, I thought this was going to come with the. I, I, some of people, this is still the O two. Some people actually got the O four in this box. Okay. The newer, the newer, the newer uh, ESC, which has yeah. a lipo cutoff. Yeah, that's weird because that's a new release for this year. So theoretically, I guess they're they're putting uh, leftovers so 
they have to go through all the zero twos before they start sending the zero four. I mean, I mean, it's nice how they had it sectioned out. That's kind of reminiscent of what they used to do. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna the body. It's a hard shell. Yes, it's a hard shell. It's black. I yep. hear that you could. Uh, I uh, the guy in Australia. He saw this wasn't good enough to uh, to not. He said it was better if it was painted. And I'm planning on possibly painting this because it said he, he didn't have the shine he wanted against those decals. Oh yeah, I would paint it. I would definitely yeah. paint that. Yeah, I, I mean it's black and everything, but still, uh, they say that when he said the DTO two version of the here's a look at it, it even comes with a black aerial. <laughs> mm hmm. Here's your rear rims. Yeah, and it's a very quick kit to build also. Like I saw somebody build it, and he, it took, he said it took him like an hour and a half. It was all built. Chassis. Oh, bring it down, Brad. We don't see it. Bring it down. That's the tub. Okay. Well, now you you're see, going too it, far down. It, Just it, keep it, it in you, the center of that box. You'll be fine. We'll see it. It kind of reminds me of the Hornet chassis. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But you can see the big differences. Yeah. Uh, Slade Three RC says, "Congrats, Brad." Yeah, well, this took some uh, finagling, thanks to Jake. And CK Hobby Shop, he says, "Is that the BZ Tune Motor, Brad?" That's the TZ, yes. The TZ, okay. T well, you guys say Z, I, we say Z. It's yeah. a TZ or TZ to you guys. Uh, how much was that kit in U.S.? How much is it usually? Yeah, US? It was one. It was one thirty-five in the U.S. I paid a little more than I wanted to for it, but since he had it, I was all right with that. I mean, it was like maybe fifty extra dollars to pay for it. Yeah, it he had to buy it in Canada because he couldn't it's find too, it anywhere. In they uh, stopped it. They discontinued it. So Canada yeah. still has uh, Canada Hobby, or what's the Canada Truck Hobby? Uh, it, it, it is his. Uh, if your uh, guys were ever interested in this kit, uh, his his uh, it's uh, oh God. uh, it's okay. Keep it's, going. I'll find the name. I got it here. It, it, he's out of Chamblay, Quebec. Yeah. Let's see. There's the directions. Look how they have the directions, the way the picture is on here. Bring it down. ScaleTruckCanada.com. Yep. Trucks with an S. I'm surprised. Okay, here's the paints they say for it. TS14. I'll uh, just show the hobby shop real quick there, Brad, just a sec. So here's the hobby shop, ScaleTruckCanada.com. He does a lot of cross RC. It's actually S. T O R C. Uh, sorry. S T C R C dot C A. S -T -C -R -C. I hear he might actually have two or three of these left. I thought there was only three, so I thought you were yeah, going to. He's got two. two left. Got two of these left. So here's the paints they want to, for the Tama, uh, Tamaya paints is the red X7. X11 is chrome silver. And I, that goes like on the radiator part. Uh, it also has X18, which is semi gloss black. And XF for flat red and X15 for flat flesh. Okay. So TS14 black. I probably get the shine on it. I'd probably buy one of their clear coat. Clear coat sprays if I can find it. And then uh, whoever comes here to see me and buys me some stuff, you get my paints for free. I don't give I can't hold them anymore. I can't hold them. I don't have the space for it. I, I buy it, give them to hey, someone Joe. else who can use hey, them. Joe, how are you doing? Joe so Garden, that's what their paint scheme is. Speaker. Okay. Uh, Remember, he is there. How much was these kit? Yeah, we always mention it. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. I am putting an, a 1060 in here so I can uh, have waterproof and uh, more ability to get a lower motor into it. Here's the decals. Yeah, and they're shiny too, eh? They're like aluminum foil. Yeah. So you're going to have to be what... careful when you, when you cut them. To me, uh, decals why... are usually pretty uh, durable, very well made. I mean, I mean, this this is what when they showed this kit in the memorial edition, they really did a great job with the color scheme. Yeah, no, no doubt in my mind, these are beautiful decals. Well, I mean, you wouldn't expect anything different from them, but this, I mean, but this is no one complained about these 
to about they were nitpicking about the foil on it. Sometimes the silver came out too much or something, but they never complained about the color scheme, not one bit. Okay, cool. Here's the rear axle. Down, Brad. Sorry, not used to doing it this way. Okay. Are the gears similar to like the? No, the, the, actually, the diff gear is actually thicker. It looks like a fun little kit to build. It's not too big, and it's uh, it seems to be not bad. Just I don't you, myself. I don't like the look. You don't like the look of the body, or yeah, it's just the, the way the body is. It's the cab forward design for the buggy. I just it's not for me. If I find a truck ugly, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> The bumper and swing arms. Swing arms are different. If you're interested in saying in this, you should check into him. He still has them. If you ever if you ever put together a DTO one, you should at least have one in your your and shade. Shade Tree RC says Tower Hobby has it here in the states stock. They told me they could weren't going to get them. Okay. So you they told me the they tower would... hobbies and they couldn't get it. Yeah, they couldn't get it. Hmm. They told me they, they 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 discontinued it about two weeks ago, and they said that they had it. They had pre-ordered, and they said they were not going to supply them with it anymore. So that's not coming in for them. But I am getting okay. the grasshopper tooth from them, the black edition. See here, you see uh, here, you see uh, here's the gear. Here's the difference. Okay, gear. I see. See the difference. Yeah, yeah, very it's, it's much more stout. It's broader. See now, yeah. Brad, you, you can actually record a video with your camera, the setup it is right now on the table, and you can do a build video. <laughs> I don't know how to edit it the right way because people usually do speed edits when they do a kit. Mm. It doesn't matter what type of kit it is either. So you could do it like part one, part two. Uh, yeah, part three. yeah, that's something you would do, saying, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> As you see, to watch. yeah. The here's way. the gray. Here's the gray oil-filled dust CVAs. Okay. That's what makes it handles a lot better than your grass. Oh, oh yeah, believe it or not, the friction dampered one that I had in the white body. Uh, even with the friction dampers, it handled better than my Super Hornet. Yeah. Because yeah, of the way that the way this way the shocks are uh, uh, put on it. Shade Tree is saying that uh, he just checked and it says, yeah, they are out of stock, but it says next shipment in June. But Brad did call them and they said, no, it's discontinued. The website is wrong. Yeah, they haven't updated the website. They said that the, the Grasshopper 2 Black Edition is going to be out in July. Okay. So that's my second car. So in other words, I got four new cars this year. So I'm going to have up to 14 new car, up to 14 cars on my table now. Nice. Wow. Nice. So I was hoping it came with the 04 because I was going to waterproof it and use it because I think it could take a 24 turn besides a 25 turn. It'll go down. It goes down a turn. I thought I heard it. It goes down a turn. It has the high, the, the light, the light bulb cut off on it. It seems like slowly Tamiya is getting into that. They're going to do that because people want to use flight bows. That's all they're using these days. Mm -hmm. They have to do something with their ESCs. Yep. And there's the tires. Cool. Cool. I remove you from the spotlight and we'll go in gallery view. Cool. Now you got to put it all back in the box and try to figure out how it was packed. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> but it was packed nicely, <laughs> right, Frank? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank thinks it's an ugly buggy, buggy, but I don't think I think it's one of the prettier buggies that they've made. Personally, that is my opinion on it. Mm -hmm. So can I have a lot of ugly buggies? Yeah, well, he'll put that as a mention, but we won't. I don't, I don't think you think that way about it. Saying, I think you think it's a good looking buggy. Oh, I think it's unique. I never had one. I've never seen one in person, but I think it's pretty neat looking. Yeah. Uh, if you want it, you can still get it if you're quick. 
Yeah, no, I, I got did. a few kits unbuilt. I don't think I want to add. Um, uh, I mainly collect kits that I had as a, or I wish I had when I was a kid. Okay. This one was kind of shortly after. Yeah, it came out in the nineties. I had it. I bought yeah. it and I got it for like less than 90 bucks, less than 80, a uh, hundred bucks. Back I've, then. Um, from about early 1990s to 2007, I was not in a hobby. Uh, either so, was I. Yeah. Either was I. Due to a bad situation for me in 2003, I stopped that, and then I got back into it about 18, 2018. Wow. Okay. So, so I, Saying, I think since it's a unique buggy and you don't have one in your stable, you've never built a DTO one and it's similar to a Hornet. I thought maybe you'd want to experience it. Hey, if I come across, yes, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get one. I think it's a neat looking buggy. I'll wait for you building it and uh, I'll see if I change up my mind. I just, mm -hmm. I'm still stuck in the uh, buggies from the 80s. I, I'm still stuck with the buggies in the 80s, but I don't stop buying the new stuff. I would love to buy some of the newer stuff that Tommy, uh, Tommy makes. I really would. I also well, I love the re-releases. I wish I could own all the new re-releases. Yeah. I would like to buy the Rising Fighter, and I could get one if I had enough money to get it. It was 94 bucks. That's a cheap, that's a DTO one, but with a shorter wheelbase and friction dampers, and it's blue. Cool. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, Guys, if you want a shout out, you just do like me, write shout out, and it's going to put a shout out to your channel in the in the chat. So this is our start of our uh, Tamiya stuff. <laughs> yeah, a so, prelude to Tuesday. A prelude to Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'll clean up my room here a little more. It's uh, one of the one of the four bedroom in my house here. It's just my cars. And your and your girlfriend is very sympathetic to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, starting next Tuesday, we're going to start what's going to be called Tam uh, Tamiya Tuesday, and we're going to start showing off some uh, uh, stuff. This week, it's going to be two-wheel drive buggies, or are you going to have show four by four, or just I, I think just, I say just keep it. I think I would just think and keep it simple. Um, there's so many yeah. two-wheel drive buggies from Tamiya that uh, to combine it with four-wheel drive is just I no. You need to much. start. You need to do all the two-wheel drives first. So the, yeah. the title is going to be Ugly Buggies. Oh, uh, trust me. Um, I have a lot of ugly buggies. Like, for example, this one, which I showed quite a few people already, as you can see. Oh, the frog. Yeah, it's it's kind of ugly. But it's still but it's still a great car to drive. Yeah. Hey, that you know what I did today? I'm kind of off topic. I put a 15-turn motor in it. It's a HPI Thunderbolt. Okay. I picked that up fast. today at the hobby shop. Fairly cheap. And this thing flies with a 15 turn. You know what I was planning on putting in that one if I got it? I was yeah. planning on putting a uh, a 20 or 19 turn in it. That would be a good combination. Like I said, 15 turn, it's a bit too fast. This thing is probably going to do 30 to 35 miles an hour. Oh, well, well I look, look at it. Look at the, the torque tune, how fast it makes a Kyosho off topic. Yeah. The, the, the Scorpion, 25 miles an hour with that motor. Yeah. I never thought that motor was capable of actually getting that high with that with that car. Oh. Yeah. So back to this topic, so when are you planning to build this uh, buggy? When I get, uh, I do have, I have to look for it. I do have a, four, I do have a 12 kilogram mo, uh, servo for it. And it's a, kind of a short stacked one. So uh, it, it, it should be perfectly fine for the turn of wheels because it's mm -hmm. nothing big. And it's I good looking. It's aluminum. It's waterproof. So it's waterproof 12, uh, uh, 12 kilogram. I think uh, any turbo would work for that buggy because it's we will drive. I have, I have overkill on both the other ones. I have 20 kilograms in the Hornet and the Grasshopper. That's <laughs> overkill. I know, but they work. They, they make yeah. it work. So <laughs> yeah, I, I, when I get when I get more of the buggies, I'm going to be going for like 10 or 12 kilogram, no higher than 15 kilograms for the tires. And except like except for if I go for the Mad Bull or or a, 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 a lunch box, I need bigger ones because I got the bigger tires. They they yeah. could use a twenty turn, yeah, twenty mm -hmm. kilogram. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it, that, like like the Mad Bull, it's a Grasshopper two body with different decals, but it has the big. It's like a, it's a monster buggy, is what it really is. Yeah, I was, that, I was, that's an ugly buggy. That there is odd. It looks like it has monster truck like lunchbox wheels on. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Tires, but it's a buggy. It's, it's just, just it's just like send me an email for life for next week. Uh, 
all the the one you think that are ugly or pictures or whatever like that i can actually show them even sure. though you don't have them we can show them off yeah i have them so oh, yeah know. yeah i don't know should i mention the name right now and some of them or just wait just wait just wait okay. I, hey I, i forgot to show people this this is what it looks like in color cool Z saying black and hey, yellow and i think it's silver. neat like i think it's neat <laughs> i just don't have a connection to it i just it's it's one of those you know it's when that was released i was not in the hobby um although i do have some stuff that are you know that are made within the past five years ten years but the dto2s guess, yeah like i got tto2 i have uh six by six from tamiya i have cco1 that is from i guess late 90s did you i forgot you have the dyna head no i've got uh kong head the kong head you see here's my idea what i would have done with uh, if i were to buy all of those eventually i would uh i would certainly put a brushless motor on the kong head it's got six wheels got big tires i mean might as well it's only 18 scale but it looks big for an 18 scale because it's a semi uh yeah. and uh because yeah. i've seen it run on brushless motor and i'd have it do four wheel steering now if i got the bus J.D. Passel says you, uh, Brad needs to get the frog, the grasshopper 2, and the hotshot. I am getting the process of getting the grasshopper 2. It'll be with me in July, hopefully. I, I've, okay. I, I pretty much, my bank account is done. It's just sitting there with the money that's left over for those purchases. I already put them down. It's done. Cool. So uh, I, I do need to buy some things before I start putting this together, like I said. Did, I did you buy a sport. spare radio link uh, receiver? Yes, I have two of them, actually, because I needed one for the Grasshopper, too. So I have two okay. of them, Frank. Cool. So uh, Now, just make I, sure I, that when you put the model number, make sure you put the ID seed also in it. And that's going to permit you that to run exactly like when you're going to switch car. Because if you don't do that, if you leave both of them on at the same time, you'll drive both of them. So you do have to uh, put ID seed on. How, 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 how's the ID seed work? Uh, I, I got a video that actually shows that. So I'll send you a link and you can actually see. All right. Because that's going to be a little complicated for me. I know no, it's just not. Set... It's, it's really not complicated. You actually just put a number to it or something? Yeah. You, you just, when you go model number, you put the name yeah. of the car. And then before binding, you just go to the bottom, which is number, I think it's 12 or 24. I can't remember what it is, but it's in my video. Uh, and you just go uh, ID seed, you turn it on and you give it a number. Okay. So usually it's, I usually match it with the number of the truck. So if, if truck number one is your Hornet, then you put ID seed one. Uh, then you go to the second truck number and then you put ID seed two. That permits you to put more receivers into one truck doing different stuff. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm still trying to figure out that thing. I mean, it, it, I've never had a radio like that before or had, had memory like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I always had separate no. radios for them at the well, time. When it comes time with the radio link, I can actually show you. We can do yeah. a live video and it uh, doesn't have to be on YouTube, but I can actually show you step by okay. step uh, how to do and get mad at you uh, because you're not listening. <laughs> no, I'm listening. Uh, I'm still just not figuring out what I'm listening to. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just the way I've been all my life, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I, I'm hoping, uh, uh, with, since we're doing that channel, uh, doing that sh uh, show, uh, I'm hoping uh, I will convince Sang to get himself a DTO one. <laughs> oh, I will, but I, I'm I say I'm not going out of my way to pick one up. <laughs> if, if I see one in the store, maybe. If I see one used, maybe. Um, I think it's a neat looking buggy, um, but that's about it. Do you want the box for saying? <laughs> no, I don't think he wants the box. No, I wouldn't. I don't keep boxes as of cars that I don't have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised someone's going to want this box because it's a very different box. Keep mm, it. Maybe. You know, um, keep it. So keep your stuff in it. That's all. <laughs> Put yourself in it. Even if it's non-RC related, use it, use it for something. Yep. 
So, and, and uh, Joe Girding says, uh, Radio Link is a good radio, a uh, good remote. Uh, I've been having good luck with mine. Cool. I, I'm hearing, I, I, I've heard about the, the Noble, the Noble that's out. Yeah, but man, guy. the Noble is like it's four six, times or five is, times the, the price. And I don't even know if it has the same distance range. I don't think it has the same distance range, but it's a way faster radio, though. For, yeah, it's for processor's response. faster. It's processor's but faster. For what we're doing, eh, it doesn't matter. Bashers, yeah. bashers should always want a radio link because they're going far and fast. Yeah. Speedrunner guys need those type of vehicles to need those radios to to go the distance. Mm -hmm. Um. I haven't seen the one with the two uh, two uh, uh, antennas on it. You said there's one that has two antennas on it. Yeah, it's the, seen the that channel yet. six. It's the one that has the six channels. Because your your radio does not have the six uh, channels. Yeah, yeah and I know I, I hear that one does 2,000 feet or more. Yeah. Uh, so it goes more than a quarter of a mile. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh so don't forget the DTO threes. <laughs> what about never had one? But he has a DTO two. <laughs> I have a DTO two. I only bought the DTO two, not because it's DO two DTO two. It's because it's a Sand Rover because I wanted that body. Ah yes. And what about the holiday buggy? Could it, that 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 you would have liked too? I had it one time, uh, DTO two, <laughs> but I uh, I ended up getting rid of the holiday buggy. What's that? Who in the chat can put what model number this is, what RC this is, RC truck? I know exactly what that is. Yeah, I know you do, but I want to see if the people in the chat knows. Wait, I'll let me put my and and you don't win nothing. You just win the thing saying, ah, I guessed it. Here it is. Um so if you know what that is, write it in the chat. If somebody can guess. Oh, oh. Look at this. Ah, I had one of those. I had one of those. Look at that. I used to race that the fin and my... Because it's, it's written on the fin. Yeah. I, I, also I, a spoiler. They, they need to bring that back. They need to re-release that. Cool. If yeah. they, if they re-release this one, they got to re-release that one. What do you think, saying? I think so, too. It's hard to see in the Well, camera. now you just showed the name on the spoiler. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> nobody nobody read that that quick, but um, this has been painted uh, at an automotive body shop. So yeah. really I was told to use possibly automotive gloss black paint. Yeah, it's that's what was put on paint. that that Mad Bull that, that that guy in Australia did. Yeah, and this is and this is a hard. Well, it's not really it hard, hard, but it's hard plastic. Yeah, that's the, I got one here on the shelf also. Yeah, yeah it's not like saying that but, is the yeah. best handling Hornet. Like, look at this oil shock, but it's still, and it does pivot in the back. Well, you just yeah. gave the name. You just gave the name away. Sorry. I'm sorry. But Did I'm it. sure that the color scheme gas also gave it away. You didn't even need to know its name. Look at that. We can play that game Tuesday. Show it. Yeah. Hey, hey, saying you would have to admit that was the best handling hornet. I never drove it, so I, I can't tell. <laughs> they can never guess this one here. These are not Tamiya tires, so it's gonna be tricky. Mm. This is this is a dead giveaway. I'm not sure. Oh, about I know what that chassis is. <laughs> oh, I no now I know what that is when I think about it. No, it is not a C Max chassis. It's a chassis they should have never dropped. It was everybody loved that chassis. Yes, Green Frog. That was my TF2. I, 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 so who's going to guess? A, uh, I think I know what that is because I've seen that body recently uh, again. And I know this what is body a is. repro body. This is not the original body. No, it's but, it's it, but, that, but that's the body of that particular car. Yeah. It's four-wheel drive. Well, that body wasn't on a four-wheel drive. It is four-wheel drive. Front body, four-wheel drive. Oh, because it looks like something else. It has like look like exhaust here going here and here on both sides. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot the name of it. I shouldn't. I forgot the name of it. I, yeah, I know. There, 
Baja. Ah, yes, but that's not a Baja King body. Okay, but it's the other one. There's two that uses the same TLO one. One of them is Baja King, and the other one is something else. I swore what I swore that body was out of Super G. This is the TBG body. And that's okay. a what chassis? TLO one? Yeah, this yes. is TLO one buggy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, CK Hobby Shop uh, did guess it. Because he has one, if I'm not mistaken, right, CK? Yeah. I wish he'd get on the video. It'd be easier to talk to him. <laughs> Okay, we're going to play this game one more time. Now, this is a trick. This is a trick question. Uh -oh. Nobody's going to guess this. Nobody is going to guess this. That looks like a Subaru Brat, but it is. Chassis. But the chassis, if somebody could guess this. <laughs> I bet you nobody's going to get it. And these are the original rims and tires. And I'm going to give a hint. It's not Tamiya. Oh, it's not, but it looks like one. It's not a Tamiya. And this is a super brat body, but this is not a Tamiya buggy. You know, a couple of their, a couple of the Subaru brat body uh, uh, kits came with a heart and uh, a Lexan body together, which was nice. I bet you nobody would guess this thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know it's a Kyosho, but a it's Kyosho. not Kyosho. It's not Kyosho, not even? It's not Kyosho. Wow. I have no idea. But All right. the, 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 don't say yet because the video is actually delayed kind of a little bit on the live compared to us. Yeah. So, so say, you the know, body off. Do, do you know that that, that the mud blaster and the bot and the, uh, and the Subaru Brat, they came both, came, those, those kits came with a hard and soft body. Yeah, I know hard. that. I, yep. The word, this is not the right body. And, and this is from the Holiday Buggy, which is temporarily yep. on. Okay. But it's actually, actually, this is a buggy chassis. But the this wheel, this is actually... Panda Stroker? Truck. What's that? Panda Stroker? Nope. CK Hobby Shop guessed that. To give a hint, uh, it's actually a truck body on this, like a pickup truck. truck body? Okay. Cool. It's a company that's no longer exists, I'm pretty sure of. No, it's a company that still exists that is doing very, very well. Oh, yeah? Oh, then it's oh, a Traxxas. Oh, my God. It's got to be a Traxxas then. Yeah. So uh, this is I a Traxxas. The name of that tra I, yeah, there was a buggy that was on that same chassis. I forgot this, the name of the buggy. Yeah, this it's called a Traxxas Cat. Yes. But this is the uh, truck version. It's a truck body on it. I think it's called Traxxas Spirit or something. Like that, if you yeah, want to Google it. they had two names, the cat and that, the yeah. Spirit. So this is it. I just don't have the Spirit body. And that's why there's a Subaru body on it because it's a truck. You know what? So this, this is a Traxxas, believe it or not. You see, believe it or not, I believe if they re-release that, that would be bought up because it's a piece of their history. Yeah, no. this is a Traxxas vehicle, everybody. No, because Traxxas would not re-release that because they're they're above that now. Their quality and their technology is above that. So if you come out with a kit like that or even a ready to run, people are going to dish that saying, oh, it's no good. It breaks easy. You can't fly 50 feet in the air with it. It's no good. Traxxas won't do that anymore. They, they're, they're a basher. I, they're quite advanced. Even has oil shocks. Oh, yeah? this, these are oil shocks. Yeah, but, but I, I say they... I say they could come out with it because I'll tell you why, because they could enhance the plastics on it and everything. If it could actually make Not it sure. better. And it has a 540 silver can motor. It just has a cover over it. But that is a silver can 540 cool. motor. Yeah. Anyways, this is a, uh, if you look at Traxxas cat, it's the same thing as, as this. It's just like Traxxas came out with the Bandit, and the Bandit has been out for so long. Yeah, and they've and also enhanced. They'll take the the new Bandit arms and put it on the old Bandit. Everything fits. The color of the chassis, color of the plastic change, yeah. but it's still the same mold. Like yeah. everything is the same, like they've been doing. So for them to come out with that kit to be uh, mem memorabilia, whatever it is the, in English. It to it's doesn't make sense for money wise. They've been milking the cow for so many years with their slash, with their stampede, with their uh, rustler. Uh, 
they, they're they're making money right now. For them to do that, what you're saying, Brad, makes no no company sense, no no money sense. Yes, it'd be cool for us, but for them, it makes no sense. It's all about business, right? It's yep. it's all about right. If it makes business sense. Yeah, but they can still get the people who want to remember their old stuff. That's how I look at it. It's if the, they want to remember market. their old stuff, they do like saying they go find it on the web and find it and yeah, it. yeah, yeah. My TF two, I put a brand new, uh, well, a, a, a new used K forty four axle in front. So this is the original Yoda axle, uh, which is the Yoda one, not the Yoda two. So. Uh, I, I decided to upgrade my front axles, better steering, and it's a little bit better axle. So, cool. Yeah. So I yeah, like for the, Tuesday, there's a lot of cars in here I could show. Yeah. I would love to. I would love to see Kyosho come out with their Pegasus and Icarus again. That those were cool. Hmm. Yeah, that uh, that would be a couple step above from the Hornet. Yep. It'd be more like the Frog. It's up there with the Frog. Sure. Yeah. I never had one of those Kyosho Pegasus, whatever. I'd love to get one. Mm -hmm. I remember it seeing in the hobby shop. Um, I guess because I was really into the Ultima series back then, um, which is like one of these here. Whoa, look at this. This here. Cool. Yeah. This is what I was into Kyosho, the Ultima. That's yeah. why their kits cost so much. They have a lot of metal. Yeah. Like even the shocks, look at that. Platinum shocks. Yeah. Way ahead of its time, in my opinion. So was uh, so was the first bruiser and and um oh god, that's way ahead uh, of those, 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 those were way ahead of its time, and it's still interesting to look today, and it's still metal and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I remember when they sold those for 500 bucks last year. So we showed you, we showed your unboxing. We talked about a bunch of other things. So we're going to wrap this video from the live because we just wanted to show the unboxing and we talked about a bunch of other things. Thank you, Brad, for showing your new purchase and hopefully we'll see it build soon or actually see a build video. So uh, that'd be cool. So thanks a lot for showing up and uh, having fun with us tonight. Uh, everybody. Okay. I'll do the same when I get the grasshopper in. Cool. Sounds good. All right. All right. So guys, thank you very much for watching and um, go charge up some batteries and have fun and go out there and break something because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Talk to you guys later.